spirit from a person or a place. Yet if banished from a person, does it then find the nearest suitable host? Bobby Mackey's may hold the answer. This is the only place I believe we've ever been to where an exorcism has been performed. He felt like the evil spirits in this building were trying to take over his body. In the name of Jesus Christ of oh. A lot of times we will get audible male voices. We'll just hear them. I swear I just heard like four or five shuffle steps. They did an exorcism here and they released a demon. Right here on the other side of the fence is the well, the portal to hell. Well, that's it right there. I can feel something touching my arm right now. You bet Carl's work this whole leave him. Do you bet? Pearl Bryan, she was a young lady from Indiana that was murdered and decapitated, and then they brought her head here to the slaughterhouse and did some kind of satanic ritual and threw her head down the well. Come to me. He wanted to give you a new that? After the exorcism happened, did the spirits or demons stay here? Welcome to the Overnight Channel, dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. Tonight's investigation takes place at Bobby Mackey's Gateway to Hell. What's up everyone and welcome back to the Overnight Channel, which is fully dedicated to weekly videos about the paranormal, the unknown, the mysterious, the mystical, the extraterrestrial, whatever it might be. And right now, I'm excited to be where we are because one of our favorite shows, Ghost Adventures, Ooh. the very first episode they ever did was filmed right here. Bobby Mackey's, and just on the other side of that wall is where they performed the exorcism during their episode. Insane. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> the history here is interesting. It's very dark, it's very mixed. There's a lot of different reviews. Some say that it was a slaughterhouse. Some say the satanic rituals happened here. Murders have happened here. There's a lot of untold tales. But the one thing that is absolutely confirmed by everyone is that this is the only place I believe we've ever been to where an exorcism has been performed. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So this no. is one of the places, the first time, because Conjuring House was a seance. Mm -hmm. And anywhere else we've been to, there's never been a full-blown exorcism. So tonight we have full access to Bobby Mackey's. We will be getting a tour from Laura, who has been investigating here for eight years. And Sick. I have a fun surprise for us when Wait, we so get what inside. Is, what's that? Surprise. I have a fun surprise. Like what? I'm not gonna share. You know it's never anything good. It's a fun surprise. It's what's never the, anything good. Anytime he does his uh, hands behind the back quick speaking, it's yeah. never good. It's the most fun surprise we've ever done. What do you mean? It's like the most, most fun surprise, surprise we've, we've ever done. It's the most done. fun surprise we've ever done. In a bar. Like there's a little bit of nothing ever that's been more fun than the surprise we're about to do tonight. Are we gonna get drunk at the bar and then investigate? No, the bar is actually closed. They only open it on Friday and Saturday. So right now we're just gonna do something really fun in a private rental by itself with no one else here. It's gonna be really fun. Interesting. Fun when fact here, also uh, something known as the portal to hell is here. Oh. Have we also ever been to a place that makes you sign a waiver that says if you get possessed or anything demonic gets inside of you, they're not liable? What? Yeah, yeah, I've done that at Tempest. You should probably have one of those at your house. Corey, you want to read that sign for me right there? Warning to our patients. This establishment is reported to be haunted. Management is not responsible and cannot be held liable for any actions of any ghost spirits on these premises. Bobby Mackey's is known as the most haunted nightclub in America, and the events, investigations, and paranormal evidence that led to this title are deeply rooted, with the seeds of these stories growing from their basement, known as the Gateway to Hell. The folklore that surrounds a small venue in Kentucky may have some of the most diverse stories we have ever heard. The hauntings and paranormal activity have been attributed to various factors such as the site originally being used as a slaughterhouse in the 19th century, where the blood from their cattle would be drained through the well in the now basement. The same well that is known as the gateway to hell. Stories of Satanists and sacrifices that utilize the well as their center point of offerings and rituals would only contribute to the demonic energy present within the building. Some believe that a murder took place in the area, and upon the death, a curse is placed upon the land in which Bobby Mackey sits. Legends of a heartbroken pregnant woman using poison to take her own life within the nightclub have led many to believe the spirit of Johanna haunt the dilapidated, bullet-riddled building. 
Yet it is worth noting that none of these tales have ever been confirmed by public record. Whether true or not, we cannot say. What we can confirm without any doubt is that an exorcism was performed here. An exorcism that was severely needed for a man named Carl Lawson, a longtime employee of Bobby Mackey's. The evil that consumed this man and where it feasted upon next is the focus of our investigation tonight. As much folklore may surround Mackey's, there is an even greater amount of documented paranormal activity from over the last 50 years, and our goal tonight is to find guidance from the gateway to hell. Welcome to the Overnight Channel, dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. Please make sure to subscribe as we have brand new investigations and locations every week. If you see or hear anything during our video that we might have missed, let us know in the comment section as we read every single one. I've been to a few bars and I don't, I don't think I've ever seen that in, no. a, in a bar before. Same. And, and we've been to some pretty crazy bars. You remember, you remember we've, been to, we've been to some wild places. You remember Miami? Do you remember? Hey, 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 remember down. Miami? Calm they down. probably needed one of these. Hey, hey, calm down. Just saying. What happened in Miami? Come on in. After you. Okay, portal. Wait, you, there's you already a portal? portal. Wait, wait, you're about to walk by the newspaper clipping that says murder behind. What does it say? Oh! Murder wow. case one. What? But legend lives on. Headless body. What? Crime of the century. Wow. As we're standing in a. In, in, a, a, in a portal. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, I don't want to, like. I want to read that as we're standing right in between two beers. Are you guys ready for the really cool surprise that I planned for us? Yeah. What's the surprise? Is it like a team surprise? We should probably figure that out before we walk through. Are we playing yeah. cornhole? Do you have your ID? Do you have your ID? My mom. Do you have your ID? What about your mom? Uh, my mom, I'll right now. My mom will kill me if she finds out I was here. This is the first time we've been in anything like, like a bar. It's an active bar. This is a bar. I know. Okay, I know. okay, yeah. but, 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 but. Before we see anything else, yeah. before we meet our tour guide, before we learn about any of the paranormal sightings and the history here, I have a surprise. What? Well, I planned this one out. Happy surprise? I might have hired someone to come hang out with us for a little while. Ooh, a celebrity? There might be a toy that we can play on. On? Wait. Uh -huh. Playing with wait, wait. You hired toy? somebody that's a toy that we can play on. No, no, no. I hired someone who can operate a toy that we can play on. At a bar. At a bar. Guess Look like it? a... You guys see it? No. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a thing. Wait, wait, wait. We're we're, we're doing Come that. On. We're doing that. Come on. Hey, that started up slow, and I can slowly crank it up okay. all the way up. Okay. And can then you can show us what all the way up looks like. Just all the way up. Nothing in between. I feel like I'm gonna my pants. Anyone else notice that Laura's been here the whole time? Oh, we should probably the go. The entire time? Oh, we should go. 
We should go say hi. You wanna go like... Oh, we should run. Go, let's go let's go say hi. Yeah. We should waddle. Can you walk? Yeah, I can waddle. The distillery was here, like I said, from 1876 all the way up until Prohibition. Once Prohibition hit, of course they had to shut down and then they eventually tore all the buildings down. Mm. Once they tore down the distillery, a guy named John Pop purchased this property and he built a small house. When we go in the basement, you'll see the house is still down there. It's still standing. We're kind of standing on the roof of it right now. Oh. It's really oh. weird the way they constructed this. They kind of, they left the house for whatever reason and then built everything else around it. <laughs> I don't so know. It's weird. Really, it's so weird. He and his wife lived on the bottom level and then up here on this second story, they operated a small cafe called the Bluegrass Inn. Prohibition was still going on. So it was kind of like a speakeasy. Um, you know, but they also served food and a lot of people this area behind us here A lot of people call that the old kitchen because that was the kitchen area mm. of the bluegrass inn Jumping ahead for just a second if you've heard about Carl Lawson He was the caretaker here. He lived here for 13 years mm. and he had an exorcism performed back in the early 90s I believe it was because he felt like the evil spirits in this building were trying to take over his body. So they did the exorcism here in the club, and they actually did it in that room there. In the kitchen, right there. Oh. It wasn't a kitchen, but yeah. that's what we call it, but yeah. Got so that's where, that's where the exorcism took place. We do get a lot of activity up there. We get a lot of shadow figures up there. Mm. Um, those heavy metal chairs, a lot of times when you're in the basement, like when you're in the well room, you're kind of right beneath us here. So a lot of times we'll hear those heavy metal chairs. It sounds like either someone's dragging them across the floor or picking them up and letting them slam back down. Mm. Um, and that step right there, step on that and see if it squeaks. It usually does. No? Nope. Yep. It's usually louder. There we go. There you go. Oh yeah, yeah, get it going. <laughs> Hit that exercise. In the 1940s, Newport, that was known as the Sin City of the South Ooh. because this area, believe it or not, was Las Vegas before Las Vegas existed. Oh, wow. So if you wanted to gamble and see like, you know, stage shows with showgirls and singers, this is where you would come to Newport. But somehow they managed to run Buck out of here. And then the Cleveland Syndicate took over this club and renamed it the Latin Quarter. So if you see that pole right there with the thermostat on it, the wooden one, yeah, yeah, the yeah. big wooden one, that area right there used to be the men's bathroom. And what's currently the men's bathroom was an office. When the Primrose opened in 1943, two guys got in a fight in that bathroom. One guy got punched, he fell, he hit his head on a radiator, and he died on the floor of the bathroom there. Oh, wow. So that is the first death that we know of that happened inside the building. I've seen the newspaper articles about it. It's, it's definitely wow. true. I know the guy's name. Do you want me to tell you, or do you want to wait? Because I don't want to put it in your head. We'll wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll wait. that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. See if we get any evidence <laughs> later call. of that. Yeah. Correct. Good call. A lot of times we will get audible male voices. We'll just hear them. Not through a spear box or recorder, you just hear them. Um, I was here just a week ago, and I had a tour. I had, I think it was four ladies and one guy. And we were here, I was telling this story just like this. The guy was about where you are, and I had my back to the stage. And right over here, we heard a man go, mm. This is like, a, a, like a, a humming kind of moan sound, and it was right back here behind me. Yeah. And the only guy was standing in front of me, hmm. so. Was it almost like, like disagreeable, you said like a mmm? Kind of like that. Really? Yeah. So the guy that, that died has come through on spirit boxes and recorders with his name. That's why I didn't want to tell it to you in case you right. heard it. But lately, we've also been getting the name of the guy that killed him. Oh. And I know his name too. So there's two names if you happen to hear uh, let me know and I'll let you know what's in. Ooh, that's going to be interesting. Yeah. The mob owned this place from the late 40s up until late 60s, early 70s. Oh, wow. So who knows um, what went on. When we go in the basement, there's a door down there that has bullet holes in it. There's a jail cell down there. So, I mean... A jail cell? What? 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 Kind of a good bar to know a jail cell. I guess so, yeah. It's like a drunk tank. This area back here, um, we've nicknamed it the Creepy Corner. Um, and you'll see once the lights are out, it's a completely different vibe back in this corner. Um, I've had some crazy experiences back here. I saw what I think was a full-bodied apparition back here. Mm. I had a tour. It was only two guys on the tour. 
they were just walking around taking pictures and stuff. I was in the gift shop, you know, putting everything away, getting ready to lock up. And I happened to glance down here just because it's the creepy corner and you yeah. never know what's hanging out down here. I just glanced down and on that end of the pool table, um, I saw a guy and he had his arms crossed and he was just casually leaning against the pool table. And I didn't even, it didn't even startle me because I knew those guys were here somewhere. Yeah. So I just assumed it was one of them. But as soon as I took another step, I heard a noise back in the old kitchen or the monster room that we call it. I heard a noise back there, so I look over and I could see both their flashlights. And I look back and this guy's gone. But I mean, I could see I could see his t-shirt, I could see like his skin. You had colors? It was, like... it was red or orange. Okay, yeah. Which but this was weird. off, the lights were off? All these lights, the only light that was on is the one up by the gift shop. This was dark back here. And you see this metal thing, this is how I was able to see him, this metal strip. Yeah. Um, so when that light's on down there, I can see the metal strip. And he was blocking out part of the metal strip. Uh, wow. Um, the other cool thing that happened back here, if there's ever any uh, pool ball sitting out, I always take it and put it uh, next to the, right on the edge mm. of the pocket. And I had a tour group here, we were just sitting out there. Um, one of the girls thought she saw a shadow back in that corner. I said, so let's me and you get up. We'll come over here and stand here so we don't rush up on it and scare it away. Mm -hmm. And we'll just try to communicate. So we're standing here. She's asking questions and trying to get a response. And finally, she says, could you knock that pool ball in? And guess what? No way. Hmm. I, I lost it. I mean, I was just like, oh my god, that's the coolest thing mm. ever. The ball went in, and I'm like, that's amazing. But why did it do it for her? I've been asking for years. Yeah. Yeah. Please knock the pool ball in and they never do. Oh, the lights are already on. Oh, wow. Right here is the house. Oh, wow. Oh, weird. That is so bizarre. Yeah. So bizarre. And everything else just built on around it. That you is... can walk around to get inside the house. Yeah, we're right? going there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. In the early 70s, this place opened up as kind of a, like a biker bar, um, like a roadhouse type place, so kind of a rough, mm -hmm violent place. Um, people were always getting in fights. They nicknamed it the bloody bucket just because they'd mop up the blood and th you know throw the bloody water out. So they called it the bloody bucket. But what was that? Y'all heard that. You heard that? Yeah. I missed that one. You didn't it, I thought it was behind me, but I don't know where it was. Two guys. I, totally separate occasions um, were shot in the parking lot and they both died from their gunshot wounds. And that was in the early, probably early mid seventies. The bloody bucket was only open for a few years just because, you know, the police were always here. There were always fights. It was just a terrible, yeah. violent place. The city eventually shut it down. And then this place sat empty for a couple of years. And then in 1978, Bobby bought the building. Okay. And so it's been Mackey's ever since then. So when we walk through this, if you look to your left, you'll see the bullet holes in the door that I was telling you about upstairs. Yeah, that's great. That would have been right through the chest. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at these. Way more over here. See, I oh. don't, do you think those are bullet holes? Because I honestly didn't know if they were or not. Those it's, look like exits. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, like yeah. as if the bullets came from the other side. This is the inside of the house. Oh, yeah. that is some... That's the jail cell. Wow. This, this is where there were 12 showgirls? That's what they, that's 12 what the newspaper girls. said. They know how you could pitch well in here. Okay, he already knows his showgirls. Uh, yeah, he knows them way too well. And a half. How, many, oh, uh, how many showgirls do you think you could fit sure, in sure, you put a couple up on that shelf alone. On my tours, the people that have ever been scratched on my tours, it's happened in there. Oh, that's fun. And, you know, a lot of people think it's usually the obnoxious person or the loud person. Yeah. But in my experience, it's always been the quietest person. Is it normally like the quiet, more respectful person? Yeah. Yeah, Corbin. I, wait, 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 wait. You're saying I'm quiet? You're the quiet and more respectful one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm the quiet one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah, that's that's all. Sure. Comment section. A hundred percent that is accurate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was very respectful. Was yeah. very respectful. <laughs> he got into confrontation. You went, okay. 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 I'll just right. think about that later. So besides scratching, anything else? Uh, yeah, people that sit in there, they either get scratched, they hear whispering, um, they'll feel breath on their face or their hair will get um, pulled or played with. Right here on the other side of the fence is the well, the portal to hell. Oh, that's it right there. Holy crap. Is it filled in on purpose? Yeah, they filled it in just so critters don't come in. Wow. Uh, wow. 
critters don't come in. Yeah, I was gonna say you don't think that maybe there's some bodies down there. So, <laughs> is that also a true story? Pearl Bryan. Um, I'm sure you heard her story. She was a young lady from Indiana um, that was murdered and decapitated. Her body was found about two miles away in what is now Fort Thomas, and they never found her head. They killed her, and then they brought her head here to the slaughterhouse and did some kind of satanic ritual and threw her head down the well. And the carriage driver actually stopped. His testimony says, I stopped in front of the distillery, which would have been right here, because he could hear Pearl in the back crying and, and moaning, and he was scared. He didn't know what was going on because they had drugged her and they were trying to cause her to have a miscarriage. Uh -huh. um, and, but it wasn't working. She was just getting really, really sick. Wow. And he said in his testimony that they got out, he heard one scream, and then he never heard another sound. And he actually took off on foot and left his horse and everything behind because he was so terrified of wow. what was going on. And then a 12-year-old boy found her body the next morning. Wow. So this room is probably my favorite as far as activity goes. Um, and what he and I heard earlier out there, I was going to tell the story when we got in here of the shuffler. He walks like that. Oh. I'm not lying. Oh. I promise I was going to tell that story. That's crazy. <laughs> um, it's weird because Corey knows a different kind of shuffle. Okay. <laughs> So that groin. Okay. Wow, you're cured. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. I actually think I am cured. That actually didn't hurt at all. Just shuffle away the gooch. Wow. The power of dance, brother. Yeah. I've heard him like out there, kind of where we were standing in the main part of the basement. So I usually just shuffle a couple times. Um, and the other thing I've heard in this room is growling. I don't know what's growling. Um, we talked about critters. And people will always say, oh, there's probably mice in here. Well, yeah. There's I don't probably, think mice growl. I'm not going to say there's not mice in here, but I don't think mice growl. Um, so I don't know what could be making that sound, but many, many people have heard growling in this room. But this is also the room where you might you would hear footsteps because the front door is like back there, and then you walk down that hall. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then, right, so that's the current bathroom. So that's the men's bathroom. And then yeah, that so. would make that the kitchen? The kitchen, yeah. 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 Where do you think the most active area in this whole building is? Right. right here? This is what we call the room of faces. The main reason it's called that is because of right here, if you shine one of your lights on that, oh. um, you can kind of see it's a girl, but people call that Johanna. Now the Johanna legend started with Carl, again the caretaker here. He claimed he used to be visited by a woman with long dark hair, and she came. she would come to him and tell him to come down here and dig. So he came down and tore up the floor in the old house. Mm. So he eventually uncovered that well. That's his story. Mm. And he claimed that he found a diary inside the, the well, in the hole. And the diary told the story of Johanna. She was a singer in the club, we presume the Latin Quarter. Mm. She was pregnant. Her father didn't approve, so he had her boyfriend killed. And then she was so upset that she poisoned her father and committed suicide. Wow. That's the story of Johanna. So wait, did he dig up the floor because he was hearing a voice that telling, was telling him to? Him and then to he found the diary. Yeah. You know, he used to, he said a, a demon tried to drown him in a bathtub. Bobby's first wife, Janet, um, when they first bought this building, she got pushed down the stairs mm -hmm. um, and she was pregnant at the time. Oh. Um, but everything was fine. She had the baby, everything was okay. But she did fall down the steps and she said something pushed her Jesus. down the steps. So. So who are the toys for them? Okay, I, I was going to get to that because last week I had a tour and somebody asked that question. They're like, why are all these toys in here? And I said, well, a long time ago, people used to bring toys because there were stories and rumors of there being children's spirits here. I told that to my tour group last week, right as I said it, and we were all in this room. We all heard, it sounded like a child, just went, aww. So, I posted wow. on our Facebook page, if you come on a tour, please bring a toy, because nobody's yeah. brought any toys in a long time. Wow. So that little kitty cat, somebody just brought that last night because they saw my post. So, oh, that's nice. hopefully, the, the spirits are happy that they have a new toy. So. Okay, so. Okay, and I have a picture that I can show you guys, and I can text it to you. Sure. Um, but I'll show you real quick. 
But you see that lady right there? Mm -hmm. She was there. That guy wasn't. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, wow. So I can text that to you so you can look at it. That's pretty nuts. Really. That's really cool. Yeah. How long ago was that? That was September of 2019, it says. <laughs> so this room right here, um, it's not really a room. It's kind of like a oh. passageway. And you see about halfway back, there's a couple cement steps. Yeah. That's where People of Her Children's Voices is back there. Oh, wow. This goes really far back. Yeah, and it's really creepy back there, too. We can completely turn off really all the lights. Really cool. Yeah, it looks cool, really cool in there. This is some muscle. muscle. He's super creepy. That is very Sometimes creepy. that door locks, so you might not want to lock him in there. But. Uh, <laughs> might. Whoa. Might. Yeah, he can get out the other side. Get, no, seriously, if, is anyone, is everyone in the main part yes. of the basement right now? Yes. yes. Yeah? Everyone. Yes. Yeah. What? What happened? Oh, no way. What happened? What? I swear I just heard like four or five shuffle steps. No. You're, you're probably, you're probably, everyone is on that side. Yeah. Yes. You're gonna have to come out a different way. <laughs> oh, there we go. There it is. Which direction? Where's Corey? He's over there. Yeah. Right. Full Which direction? It was out, it was back there. Dude, it was right here. No, and look, look what it was. The whole floor came in, so there's no way. That's crazy. On my life, I, I thought one of you was like right here just dragging your feet across this. I had no idea it looked like this. You can't drag your feet across I had no that. idea it looked like this till right now. And it was like numerous. Oh my God. It was like, it was literally. Dude, you should have brought a camera. Okay. All right, before we start the investigation, there's all the tools that we've lined up for the night. We have some gadgets that have been broken mm -hmm. uh, from Waverly Hills. Wow. A lot of stuff's been getting broken. The though. SLS camera is still not turning on. No way. So really? And that was six hundred dollars. These broken. These are these are broken. Yeah. Still. That's broken. But still works. So after tonight and then tomorrow night's investigation, we're gonna do an overhaul and re-upgrade the kit. But this is everything we're working with here. Okay. Which frankly, is more than they were working with here during the first episode of Ghost Adventures. So yeah. they also had a bishop come in and do an exorcism. So main thing we have here, we're gonna be setting these up through the night. These are our night vision cameras. All of these are converted to see IR, infrared light, human eyes can't see it. So this will be able to see in the absolute pitch black. And in theory, also be able to see anything that the human eye can't. This is a thermal camera, picks up heat signatures, pointed at any of us, will light up red, or an entity in theory could have heat. That's a motion sensor uh, music box, basically. If any detects any motion at all, music box starts playing. K2, I think everyone's familiar with it, picks up on kinetic energy. Cat balls, which are... They've been taken out. Interesting. Tools. We'll add this to the tools that are KO'd now. So, cat ball, the only way it goes off is if you move it. The REM pod, same thing. We haven't had any luck with the noise canceling headphones in the yeah. spirit box, but perhaps we try it again tonight, so. So basically we could talk to things from the other side by using these, and a lot of time Corey will say, well you cross these, and they will cross, or they will go further apart based on what you're asking them, yep. so. So we talked about it, I think we should do it. Since none of us have actually seen the exorcism footage, oh, I genuinely yeah. did not realize it oh, still yeah. existed. Yeah. So we should go over there and watch the exorcism footage before set up a couple devices Ooh. while we're watching it beforehand just oh, to see yeah. where things yeah, are make sure, sure yeah. that everything's working and hopefully nothing's going off that's a really and good and then idea. as we watch it perhaps it'll stir up some activity yeah you know looking at this place from the outside was not as scary but right now this feels yeah the outside it didn't look too too creepy but yeah. now it's starting to feel yeah and the, i feel like also in the honor of this being one of the you know the first paranormal episodes of a show that kind of inspired what we do. Yep. You should go full night vision. The whole time? For the rest of the night. Pitch what? Black. By the way, everyone, if you don't know, we are still doing the overnight contest where every month we pick one winner. We come out to your hometown and we join you on an overnight investigation, something fun, whatever it is that you want to do. Our winner was actually supposed to be here tonight, but instead we're going to a different location in Ohio with them tomorrow night. Hey. So if you ever heard me say we were filming with our winner at Bobby Mackey's, that's why. Uh, tomorrow night, the next video at the Licking County Jail will be with our next winner. But if you want to investigate at Bobby Mackey's, you can go to their website.
and pay for it. <laughs> Or, or you can enter the contest, <laughs> and we'll pay for it, and you can join us wherever it might be. There's two ways to enter. One's to just leave a like and a comment on the video. That's all you got to do. That counts as an entry. Uh, the other way is to head over to SendedSociety.com. That supports us. So uh, enjoy the video. We're going to head down to the basement. And also, if you guys genuinely hear anything or see anything or notice anything that we don't, we genuinely appreciate it when you comment. It helps us piece the whole puzzle together. Because so often we miss the things that you are able to catch. That is true. So we're going to head down to the basement, lights out, and uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Bye. All right. I'm setting up the rim part. Still got the broken antenna. So again, one of the most ridiculous devices to get to go off for us. It, they have to be, something has to be so close. Yeah, you have to essentially touch it. And then, for the sake of the bar, I'll put this over here on the bar counter. In case he wants to go grab a drink. There's a motion sensor light over there by the tables. Another one at the end of the table down there. I'd like a drink. It is interesting. We're going to watch an exorcism together, huh? I'm going to watch an exorcism where it happens. I'm actually kind of surprised this is the first time we're watching an exorcism. Yeah. How? No oh, way. This one. Cat ball's going off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, sh Holy crap. Holy sh Okay. Just, I want to know now. Oh. No, it went off. It went off before. before you did. Yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Don't do anything. Don't move. Nobody move. Now do it, Elson. If you're sitting over there by the bar grabbing a drink, can you make that ball go off again? Okay. Well, I would think Catherine and uh, join us watching The Exorcism. Hello, my name's Corey. Hello, my name is Corbin. My name is Brandon. My name is Elton. We've heard stories that this place might have something demonic here, and other stories that there isn't. And I'd love to find out tonight. Shall we start it? Yeah. Let's start the video. Because he knows that I've got something in me that's greater than him. And I've got something in me that's greater than you, Charlie. You understand that? Oh. Huh? Oh, oh no. No, I'll fight. No, no. That's so little You listen to me. That's so little son Carl. No, it's fighting. Carl is not that. Carl's a good person. Now you, it's time for you to leave. I try to keep him away. I try to keep him away from church. Well, ever since he was a little kid, all he wanted to do was go to school and pray. That's all he ever wanted to do. But I got him riding around here on his bicycle uh, one day, and he didn't know what happened to him when he found his five dollars in the back. And now that you're trying to take him over, and you're trying to rule his life, and I'm here to put a stop to it. You understand that? You understand that, Charlie? Carl's so f***ing stupid. You understand that, Charlie? Yeah. yeah. You quit telling Carl he's stupid. You hear me? This right here is inside of me, though. And you know it because you recognize it. You recognized it when I walked up on this property. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the reason you don't like it. Because you know that I have the power to make you leave. Is it time for Charlie to leave? Huh? Huh? <laughs> It's time for Charlie to leave. Charlie. In the name of Jesus, Charlie, I command you to leave. I command you to leave, Carl. In the name of Jesus Christ of oh. Oh. To leave Carl alone. I command him to take Screw Anderson with him. It's time for it to be over. Your little game is over. Your little game is over. Your little, your little game. 
You're, no, you listen to me. Carl's mother was a good woman. And she's watching over him. And she is the reason that I am here tonight. Is because she directed things. You know it and I know it. And you and Sam and all the rest of you have been hassling Carl. Don't try to deceive me. Uh, yeah, see? I know what I'm talking about. Now, I will know. No, you won't. I'll settle down. No, no. No, you're going to leave. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm yes, going nowhere. Yes, you are. I'll never leave. You understand me? No, I I understand what you're saying. You understand? But you cannot. Come on. Now leave him alone. Leave him. Leave him. Leave him. Leave him. Leave him. Leave him. Yeah. Leave him. Leave him, Charlie. Everybody. Leave him, Charlie. Everybody. Leave him, Charlie. He's fine! Leave him, Charlie! He's fine, man of God! Leave him! We've been here for a thousand f***ing years! Leave him! We're gonna stay here! You bet Carl's worth this whole f***ing town! Leave him! Do you bet? Presidents! It said we've been, we've been here for a thousand years. And we're not leaving. So, the, is it a priest? That's all. It's it's a bishop. Maybe a bishop. He's a bishop. Yeah, I think. And he's then a that's bishop. Carl Law Lawson on the right. Mm -hmm. but, but it's Charlie. Charlie is who they're. They, they found, found the, the name. It's the name. Well, they found or the given name. That's remarkable timing. That's pretty insane. And it went off within four seconds of the end of the video again. So the cat ball went off when we first got in here. K2 uh -huh. went off twice. And the cat ball hasn't gone off since. This started going off at orange at one point. I kind of want to go right downstairs. Straight downstairs to the basement. I kind of want to go right to the basement. Okay. So a thousand years and he's not leaving. And the story is mixed where the well came from. Did it come from the distillery? Did it not? Is there a portal? Is there not? This guy requested an exorcism five years after being told to dig through the basement oh my where God. he found a diary <sighs> and knew of a story. That's why he did it. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Something compelled him to dig in the basement. I think we should just go right go. down there. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's just bring the devices and let's just make that where we live for the night. Oh, How are we supposed to see in here? You're not. Huh? Oh, I have a motion light. I have a motion light too. That's good. Alright, so remember, this is where they saw the shadow figure right in front of us over here. Where were we? Right here, right? Yeah. We were right above us. Yeah. Where were we? Yeah. The kitchen that we were just sitting right here. Yes. When we first did our tour, yeah. we both heard the right here. Yeah. Yeah, it was literally Which is there. directly outside of the portal. What if they're hearing something like crawling out of a hole? Mm. And they're hearing out of that hole? Yeah. She All right. Set up. Set up, yeah. I kind of want to put this in the room where she says that everybody gets. You know, now we'll throw the, uh, the rim pot on the well. So if anything makes that go off all the way down there, yeah. we definitely know it's not us. All right. All right, we've come down here because we believe that Carl might be here or Charlie. And we'd love to find out who's here. We realized that earlier we were watching the video of the exorcism that was performed directly above us. We are now at the place where Carl started digging without any reason, discovering an incredibly old covered well, otherwise known as a portal to hell, where he found a diary. And five years later requested his own exorcism. Now earlier the REM pod went off as the name Jesus Christ was said by the bishop. 
right as the first video ended. And lastly, the REM pod went off when the bishop said that Charlie oh, oh, was set dude. free. It's also so cold over here. Now, did Charlie ever leave Bobby Mackey's? Are you still here? Did Carl dig up Charlie when he dug up the well? After the exorcism happened, did the spirits or demons stay here? Or did they leave? Is yeah, there any? Yeah, 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 okay. Is there any, like, does GoPro pick up good, like, audio? Like, yep. Okay, dude. After I asked that, for probably like six seconds coming that way behind the GoPro, I could just hear a faint, like. Really, like, a, like, a, like a breathing? No, it was almost like talking, but I, it was so faint, I couldn't hear it, but. It, That's weird. Is there anybody here with us? If you're just watching, we'd like you to come in the room. Give us any sign. We'll start to learn who you are and what your purpose is. Oh, K2. Can you give us a stronger signal? Touch this. You're already doing it? Come a little bit closer. Can you show us how strong you are by putting all your energy into that K2? Just like you've been, can you make it go all the way to red? Oh, just went over here. Or can you only make it go to orange? If you have a lot of power and oh. energy, you can make it go to red. You're right there. Dude, I'm not getting dizzy, I'm getting cold. Are you? Dude, I am like nauseous though. Yeah, dude, I'm like really dizzy. I, I can't sit over there, I'm just like, it's, it's way too cold. Ooh, oh wow. I'm what? getting eaten alive by bugs, but that's probably because of my screen. Oh, you're freezing? You know how cold that is? Yeah. Why the f is your wrist freezing and dude, everything else is like? It was next to that door. I mean, you know what this doorway went to. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. You're right here. Do you want us to go in that doorway? This is the doorway that went to the office. Yeah. This is where they would, since they had a trap door here, potentially where they killed people and dropped just, them in here, what better place to put a body in the well? It just made me really uncomfortable sitting over there. We put a little box right beside the well. And if you can touch that box or put your energy into it, it'll make a noise. And that's how you can let us know that there either are Spirits stuck in the well or stuck in this building. Come on, you can make it spike. I know you're here because you're making it cold. If that's not Charlie and that's something else, make it go to orange right now. Dude, I had to like, I had to put my arms in my shirt because it's just, it got so cold. Dude, my eyes are f***ing with me so stupid. What happened? I, that was so weird. What I've been staring at this and I look up at you, Corbin. Yeah. And for probably a full second. Yeah. Like, have you guys seen Attack on Titan? No. no. Oh my god. Okay. I have not seen like one. They're, they're like giants, like yeah. 50 foot tall giants. Yeah. Dude, it was an all black silhouette. The head was probably touching the ceiling. Yeah. Like it was f huge, yeah. but both of its arms were like this, and it was just staring at you. Oh. And then I let my eyes focus, and it went away. Yeah, and then I could see the clear wall behind it. 
I'm dude, sorry. it was like a giant <laughs> shadow with his hands behind the gate, right. just like leaning over you. Charlie, is that you? There's something here. It's just, it's going off. What? What the f was that? <laughs> was that you? That sounds like something caving in. What? It did it twice. We all heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It, it, did it, it did it twice. I feel like we should look into it. That would have been upstairs. Or, upstairs. Was, it, oh, or was it under the well? That sounded to me like it came from the ceiling. To me, it sounded like it was like something digging from the dirt. It almost sounded like it was like caving in. Maybe Charlie's trying to make his way back up. <gasps> Footsteps over there. You hear that? I heard that. From where? Right there. Are you serious? Elton, is that you? I I am gonna test. I am not moving up from my <laughs> Is there somebody upstairs? If there's someone upstairs, could you give us a knock? Wait. Was that Corbin? Was that you? No, that's right above us, dog. That wasn't Corbin? No, that's right above us. What? What? You can just hear that creaking little bubble. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Dude, it sounds like it's in the f***ing walls. Yeah. Shit, I know. Yeah, it's in the walls. What do you guys think is down here? You think it's Carl? I don't know, because we- It's Charlie? Apparently Carl died in 2012. Okay. Right, so that's to me says, why would Carl want to come back to the place he was possessed? Exactly, yeah. Unless- okay, Unless he couldn't leave. Unless he couldn't leave. my question without me even asking, dog. What did it say? What, what, were you, what were you gonna ask? I was gonna say, if you're good, make it go off two times. If you're evil, make it go off three times, because that's mocking the Holy Trinity, and it just did it three times, twice in a row. Not even, I didn't even ask it, bro. Okay, just because I'm not sure if you read my mind or what just happened a couple minutes ago, but I wanna ask you this question out loud now. If you are a good spirit 
soul, person, elemental thing, whatever you are, if you are good, can you make that box beep two times? If you are something evil, can you make that box beep three times? Since you seem to be so good at walking around and making bangs and knocks, there's two more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you a question, and if you can answer in knocks, that would be fantastic. Are you stuck in this building? One knock means yes. Two knocks means no. Thank you. If you are good, knock one time. If you are evil, knock two times. Do you want us to give you a Who new is that? Yeah, you see like a little flash. Hey, Corbin, did you know a shadow just yeah. ran across back Dude, that's there? Why I just, that's why I just... Dude, the GoPro might have got that. Holy shit. Dude, I was someone playing. just ran behind you two. You saw that. Dude, I'm, I am... You saw that. I am Dude, Jones on right the now. wall, something literally just a giant, like, person, this, like, whatever boom, 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 that ran across the me. wall. And then I moved, and when I moved, that scared Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> That <laughs> scared Brandon so bad. Are you guys seeing this? Is there like a moth or a butterfly flying in here? No, 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 no. It was on the pipe. It was like actually covered up the pipe. No, I can see it right now. It's what? like flying in front of the camera. Yeah, there's bugs. There, there is? Yeah. Okay. That, that knock was insane. <sighs> Dude, I know. It seriously sounds like someone upstairs like gave up. That was so loud. Like a heavy f Wait, okay, where do you guys think that came from? Because I think I think it might be a different place. Where do you think? It came from the bar. It was with the cat falling off. Yes, that's where it sounded like. It sounded exactly where that came from. What do you think? I think it came from right above us. I think it came from when they saw the shadow figure over there. I thought it was like down here. It sounded like it was like over there. That'd be right where the bar is for me. Yeah, so that'd be right where, yeah. Where Corey here that was where the bar is. Okay. This doesn't make sense to me. Think about everything Laura said about Bobby Mackey's and the owner. Mm -hmm. Carl, who was the, the keeper here, mm -hmm. used to say that he'd always hear things and see things and he'd mm -hmm. tell all these paranormal stories. And the owner was like, stop telling those stories. Yeah. People aren't gonna wanna come to a haunted bar. Yeah. But that did not sound that like That did you. not sound I, like you. Dude, dude, I thought that after I said it. I, like, that, I was like, that did not sound like that you. Was Yo, that you. was not your voice. Did you hear that? People aren't going to want to come to a haunted bar. Yeah. I literally just got my whole body just got chills. Is Brandon confirming my story right now? Dude. Dude. I'm going to carry on. Wait, wait, what the what? I'm going to carry on. I kind of want to go back so, upstairs. So, why would the owner who doesn't want scary stories to be told and fear of people wanting to not come to a haunted bar allow someone to have an exorcism in his bar yeah if your point is to never let people know it's haunted why would you allow video documentation That's true, of an exorcism yeah. here maybe it's where he felt safe and maybe he never meant for it to get out or yeah, maybe they didn't mean for it to get out. Or it's the opposite way. What the bar mean? is only open two nights a week. The other five are for ghost hunts. They did an exorcism here and they released a demon. 
Did they choose to not let it leave here? Oh, is that what you're saying? Oh, I see what you, I, the timeline doesn't make any sense to me. Why would you not want it to be haunted? You don't want people to know that, and then you allow the person who's been spreading all these rumors and legends and stories to have an exorcism in the facility instead of taking them to a church. There are mm -hmm. plenty of churches around here. That makes no sense. And then you see Charlie be released to here. And now we're hearing all these knocks and we're hearing all these creakings. Seems a little... It seems a little weird. It's definitely off. Because that is true. I mean, they were saying, do not tell people, and then he does that. What does that mean? Is anyone willing to throw in the headphones while I ask the questions I want to ask? I'll do it. I want to ask the questions. Okay. I don't. Uh, uh, anybody else want to do it? No, no you want to do it. Yeah, but you're about to ask some. You're about to ask some bad questions. I'm not gonna ask bad questions. I want to ask the questions. I want to set the story straight. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. So I think Corey with the headphones. Let me seek out some answers. Yeah. And then you guys can cover the rest of the ground down here. Okay. With the tools that you have. I have a cat I can give you, probably. No, it's over there. The music box is still where the potential the room of faces, the hall of faces. Yeah, I have There's all the dressing rooms. There's GoPro set up around as well. Okay, so that's going to be Brandon and I doing that? Yeah, and then perhaps okay. whatever questions I'm asking will oh my create God. activity around the whole place. Could you imagine? Great. I, I, so, how are we going to get there? Let's give it a go. So Let's, go. Let's do it. Alright. Alright, one camera guy with them. One. I mean, Evan, do you want to be like out there or something so you can cover both? Yeah, sure. Okay. So, we should put this in, uh, what is it, the, is it the room of faces? Well, that's back that way. Okay. Yeah, so no, 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 that's like back through the way we came from. Okay. So you, should we put it in there, you think? <sighs> nah, I should stay out here. Yeah, I think we should stay out here where they got the picture with that big guy. Then let's, like the... let's put this right where that is. Yeah. Well, hello. My name is Elton. We believe we might have met you earlier upstairs. We were the first ones better known to have watched the exorcism footage in the exact place in which it happened. Perhaps hey, welcome. Well, thank you for welcoming me. Listen, I'm... and then something. I'm listening. Now, I believe that you might still be trapped here. Perhaps you chose to stay here. Come to me. Over there. I'm coming over here. Also have a cat ball. What was that? Did you hear that? Yeah, that sounded like a growl. Elton! That wasn't there. Yeah. Look, you hear Elton talking? That wasn't there. Dude, it sounded like a bear. That was like a deep ass growl. What could that have been? I want a cat ball. What was that? It couldn't have been the car because it was too fast. No, yeah. no, if anything, it sounded like I multiple really... chairs going. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? We believe as paranormal investigators that you're able to communicate through the radio waves pick from the words that you hear, say what you'd like to us. Now I personally here do not believe in the What do you mean get out of the... I would like you... You. Where's the music box? It's right there in front of us. The project. I heard that. Never ask. Why should I never ask? Was the 
project uncompleted. I still don't know your name. Look back. I am. Are you messing with us? Are you moving things upstairs? Are you trying to lead us back upstairs? See, now I can't see what's behind me though, so could you tell me what's it's, behind me? It's, okay. Um, I just started to get a massive migraine and it just said it's in your head. My friend here is not the one. Murder. You have the ability to communicate through him, but you are not allowed to enter him. Cutthroat? You know, Charlie or Carl or anybody is down here trying to communicate. You can touch the music box out there. We have a motion light and a cat ball. We have a lot of things set up. We also have a full spectrum camera out there. You can walk in front of that. Were you mistreated? Did anybody in here mistreat you? Leave. I'm not going to leave until I get your name. I can talk. What is that? If you're asking me what is that, it's a spirit box. It now gives the ability to do more than just knock on walls and drag your feet. You can speak. Stefan or Steven? I think I said Stefan. Can you speak to us in any way to show us that you're here? And give us a knock. Oh, oh, I did not touch it, didn't even move my feet. Well, you gotta get over here. Step on step right there to see if the, you're mm. making it go off. Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay, okay. okay. That's not me. Come over here, come over here, come over here. We have the ability to help bring more people to come visit you. Is this something you'd like? Or would you rather be left unknown? Don't do it, stab me. By yours. I just saw it running. I seen it. Oh, there was a baby. It went, ah. Can you touch that ball again to make it go off and light up? Just step through the doorway. Earlier, Corey introduced himself, and yet you still have not said your name. I am demanding that you tell us your name. The heart? Everyone here seems to be getting colder. Are you taking their heat, their energy? I don't care. Cry. You are making them complain a bit. Kinda sounded like it was like, kill him. Are you standing over here with us? <gasps> cool. We're not here to hurt you at all. We would just like to talk. Yo, it just went. It, everything went completely silent for like two seconds and then it went, hey. <laughs> Somewhere in a morgue. I realize there might be numerous people trying to talk through Corey right now. I can feel something touching my arm right now. 
Are you a good spirit? Or are we communicating with something evil? Well, the thing is, we don't know. Like, how can we know that? That's true. You know what I mean? You said, are you a good spirit or are you evil? Okay, we'll just do questions one at a time. Don't name. move. I won't. Just tell us your name. You're making me mad. Good. Shut up. Good. Tell us your name. Are you a male? You can also communicate with Knox. One for yes, two for no. Your fear. I don't have any fear. What if the entity's just trying to scare us, but it's really too weak to do anything? Look in the glass. Is Evan right? Yeah, go on. So Evan's right. You're trying to scare us away with your knocks. In free. the apartment. The apartment, you can't go to anymore. We can go to check out the room of faces. I mean, we'll be able to hear Elton stuff, but it also could provoke, you know, things that we have. Yeah, definitely. Must you refer to where we are right now? Revenge. Revenge for what? I will murder. Is that right? Suffered crazy? and fatal. Now try and make it go up first by touching it. Wow. Hell, that really had to, you had to literally touch it. <laughs> exactly. It wasn't fatal. He lived many years beyond. It might have just said Chris. That was, dude, it just went, that was a trick. Is there someone here with us? I so just stop. Yeah. But look, look, look. You're right where, you know, people would be. Yeah. Oh, you're right there. Yep. Sorry, I just got like really freaked out. What happened? Just my whole entire, like this whole time I've been like, you know, having chills on and off and I've been like able to control it. But just like my arm started twitching and then like my thighs started twitching and then my whole body just got chills and it was kind of like getting like shaky. My name is Corbin. My name is Brandon. And we would just love to talk. We heard that you might be a, might be a kid, might be younger. And if you are, I would love to play ball with you. I will take this ball. I will throw it over here. If you would like to throw it back to me, that would be awesome. I'd love to play ball with you. I think, there, I think there used to be something here, incredibly strong. And over the decades, it's just gotten weaker. And now all it can do is drag its feet when it used to walk and it can knock when it used to stop. They can breathe when I used to talk. Was this your area to play? Did you not like this room? Is this a bad room? I mean, can you, you think, I mean, what, it said it, we've been here for a thousand years. Exactly. And there was an exorcism there. Bishop Long came down here and he did one. People are constantly coming down here. Even the stories that were based on atrocity, that were based on demonic meanings and satanic rituals have been subdued. 
So maybe it feeds off the legend and that's the legend has been suppressed. Mm. Well, it's very interactive room. Yeah. That first room we were all together in there, that was crazy. Yeah, that was pretty nuts. So it sounds like you just don't want to talk to us. Or you've moved upstairs where we heard you a lot earlier in the night. Mm -hmm. Did anything make sense from what I was shouting out? There was a couple where it was like very spot on. Uh, yeah, I was saying like, tell me, I, I kept asking for your name, like for its name. And then you were like, you're making me mad. Stop asking. No way. Yeah, and it was after a few times. Like I had been asking and asking. What I realized at the end, right into the headphones on, is you were speaking almost the same way that Carl was speaking during the exorcism. No. It, was, it was Carl, and it was like, ah, I'm just kidding. And it was Charlie. It was like, no, Carl. Yeah. Because you were saying Sebastian or uh, Stephen, and you were like, nope. And then he said Chris, Chris. and you were like, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. And you just kind of kept me like, ha, ha, ha. And all I was doing was trying to get a solid answer from you, and I couldn't get that. What the f should we go meet up with them and see if they want to go upstairs? I think it's probably a good idea. Yeah. Unless you touch this cap all right now, we're gonna we're gonna take off. We don't want to uh, invade your space anymore. So we just came up with like a theory. What's, 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 yeah, what have you guys been doing? Do you want to tell them the demon theory? About it being old, or we're gonna say the overall theory. Yeah. So I mean, okay. One, we're watching the exorcism video, mm -hmm. right? It said it's been here for a thousand years. Yeah. And then the other theory that we're now working on is that if it's been here for a thousand years and people are here every single day, it doesn't have infinite energy. No. So perhaps it's just getting tired, it's too weak, and that's why its feet drag now. Mm. That's why it only knocks once, because when it used to stomp. That's why we hear it breathing, but we don't hear it talking. That's why we hear the faintest remarks, because like, the evidence that used to get captured here 20 years ago, decades ago, was massive. It was monumental. Yeah. And now everything seems to be a little suppressed. Yeah. And then he was talking about how like our devices get drained. Well, is that because the spirits need more energy? We get cold if it's taking our heat. Yeah. Is that what's happening? But then again, if it's taking our heat, it's taking our energy, then what? How can it not have like? Because it takes more than it gives back. Interesting. Like when you're a new spirit, you have a ton of energy, but as you get older and older, it kind of drains out. If you think about the K two, the K two would just kind of. Twinkle a little bit. It wouldn't yeah. go past it never went to Yeah, yeah. Never once went to red. That's a little bit. Mm -hmm. Interesting. There'd be ghost hunts here five nights a week. Mm -hmm. Five nights a week for eternity. If there's only one spirit here, that's a lot of mm -hmm. a lot of energy. People are asking yeah. a lot. Definitely. I kept pushing to figure out who or what we were talking to. And did anyone say anything right mm -hmm. now? Yes. I didn't say anything. No, no. no. Get the phone. Oh my god, I'm hearing voices in my head. Yeah. What'd you hear? Uh, I just heard stall. And stop. I thought one of them was saying stop and no. like stop because I need to change a camera setting. No. 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 <laughs> You're finally going crazy. I heard it in the voice that you went you. Oh Jesus. Whoa, okay. that's actually weird. I literally heard stop and I was like, why? The only thing that lined up precisely was I kept pushing to get the name of either what it is or who it is or what it refers to be called like it likes to be called as. And then he said, You're making me angry. Stop asking. Oh my god. And then as of right now, I go to talk about the name again, and in my head I hear stop. Wow. And every time I try and figure out the name, it's like there's no way it's Charlie. I'm gonna no. with you. But like name-wise, it went Stefan. Steven. Then later it went Chris. No, it's not. Every time I get a name, he would immediately say something after, but like that's not it. Nope. What? We should ask her what those names were that she's going to tell us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If it's Stefan and Chris, Chris or oh. Stephen, Stephen or Stephen, yeah, I, exactly. yeah, I will. Sh I'll sh I'll come back down here and just. Sh right. Insane. Let's go yeah. upstairs and ask her, or yeah. let's go outside get her. So you said earlier, okay. One, you have not been inside here, right? The no, whole time. I'm not. Okay. Cool. <laughs> just confirming that. <laughs> Crazy knocks. Bang, yeah, there's been bang. like. Footsteps from downstairs. That was pretty it. close. And we heard yeah. the creaky step. Wow. Yeah, no, I was not in here, I promise. I okay. said earlier, I said if you're trapped here, knock once. If you're not trapped, knock twice. And immediately, boom, just a loud ass thug yeah. from right above us. Wow. 
So we're really curious to know if we were talking <laughs> to whoever those names might be. Okay. So what was what were the names? Uh, the guy who died, his name was Paul. Okay, we're over one. <laughs> the guy who killed him was William or Bill. Paul. Neither. Uh, we got uh, Stephen and Chris. Stephen and Chris. I'll tell you a story. Oh, I like stories. <laughs> Is All it a right. scary story? Well, no, it's just interesting oh. that you got the name Chris because a few, well, I guess it was last week, I had a tour in the basement and we were using a spirit box and we were in the room of faces yeah. mm -hmm. and nothing was coming through. It was just just yeah. nonstop static. And I asked, every once in a while, I'll ask if they know the name of anybody that's in the room. And then it said, Chris. Hmm. The guy behind me left. <laughs> because he was Chris. Wow. So, that was a couple weeks ago? Yeah, it was last week. It was just like a few tours ago. It wasn't that long ago at all. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally, he was, on the, he was on the spirit box, same thing. And he heard Chris, and then immediately after he went, nope. Was there ever a Stefan or no? Not that I know of. But like we talked about earlier, with the mob, I mean, you just don't know. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. There could have been many things. Oh, coolest thing. <laughs> we watched the exorcism video. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh. When the bishop there. says Jesus yeah. Christ, the REM pod goes off, mm -hmm. and the second the video ends, the REM oh. pod goes off. Only two times in a nine minute, 50 second video that it goes off. Oh my god. And yeah. only two of three total times the entire night. Didn't it happen one more time at the when we watched oh, yeah. part three, right. and then it went off at the end of that video again. as well? Yep. Yeah. Super bizarre. We'll have long periods where it's, it's really quiet, and then it'll kick up again. So mm. I, don't, I don't really know that it's really changed that much. That's interesting, because what we were talking about was, you know, gathering energy, because there's a bunch of batteries going dead, yeah. different stuff like that. But, like she said, cycles. Thank you for having us here. Yeah, yeah thanks for thank you. It. Yeah, we appreciate it's it. awesome. It's really cool. It's cool to be here. Man, I really wish that would just go in. I know. Wait, wait. Leave, leave it there, leave it there. Oh, oh, it's oh. Why? It's why? okay. Which, was it, was it this side? It, it was, was that side where you are? This are. one. Oh, okay. I think it's going to take a while to go. <gasps> I mean... I don't... I, I... I... I mean... Coincidence? Well, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you're enjoying the Overnight Channel. We have weekly investigations every single Saturday. They're coming out with more and more places. Reaction videos will be starting probably pretty soon, uh, based on the videos that have a ton of comments that we feel like Absolutely, let's respond to them. Yeah. But most of them were trying to actually sleep here and stay until bright and early in the morning. It's pretty late. This is a fun it's one. Still it's still pretty late. Very late. Yeah. yeah. Wow. This is definitely a fun one though. This is like a legendary, like original. This is one of the places that sparked an entire real paranormal yeah. documentary style movement. This is it. Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting to get this much. We got a lot. This is really cool. We got yeah. a lot. No, we got a lot of activity, kind of fast too. Yeah. And a lot of people were like, oh, it's overrated. And I was like, no, nah, I'm just gonna go into it and ignore that. And we're gonna try and keep these videos like less cut, I guess, and keep them as real and in real time as possible. So we're gonna keep doing our best to just show you everything as it's really unfolding with minimal cuts. Uh, if you guys like that, let us know. If you want it to be cut down a little bit more, let us know. I mean, there's times when 20, 30 minutes will go by and nothing will go off. Nothing. Yeah. But then the next 10 minutes, we get the most activity we've All had it together. Yeah. And then also, they then get to understand the reaction we have when we're sitting yeah. there for seven minutes mm -hmm. and then the REM pod goes off. Yeah. Because all yeah. they see is just the REM pod go off, they're like, oh, they're reacting. It's like, yeah, no, because we right. sat there for seven minutes and nothing happened until the first size moment. Yeah. And it's, it's cool. That's very cool. All right, we're going to get ready for the next overnight video. Whew. So, uh, yeah, see you guys there. Peace. Bye.